Next thing we're going to learn how to do is how to make a key take you to another page or visit another page. So here's an example that might make sense to you. If I hit the name key, what if I wanted this button to take me to all my second grade friends' names? Maybe this one would take me to all my third grade friends and fourth grade friends. But anyway, basically what you're wanting is sort of a mid-sequence to take you to another set of vocabulary. So that's what we're going to learn how to do. So we're learning, going to learn how to hit this button for names and have this one take you to your second grade friends. So let's do it together. The first step is to see where it is that you're wanting to actually add this uh, button that takes you to the new page. So I can see there's my location. So then I hit the menu button. Then I hit the one that says edit page. And then I touch the location that I want to take me to this new page. And I'm going to say create a new button. And now the label has to say what it's going to do. So I want it to say second grade friends, but I'm just for now I'll just have it say second grade. And I don't want it to speak a message, so I'm going to take that out of there, although that probably wouldn't have had to have been done. Then I'm going to go down here and I'm going to select an image for my second grade friends. And I'm just going to do children or something. Remember, you don't have to spell the whole thing. There's a nice one for classmates. So I'm going to do that one. So now I've got the label is going to say second grade. The picture is going to be a picture of a children. And now I have to actually tell it that I want it to visit this page. So I'm going to take out where it says speak message. Probably wouldn't have had to been done again, but it's just safer to get rid of it. Then I'm going to say add. And the, make sure you don't do navigate because you're not navigating to a page. You're visiting. So you get down here where it says visit. And these are all the pages that already exist, but we want a new page. So the page we want doesn't exist. So finally we're at the spot where we say, let's make a new page so that we can have it navigate to that page. This is not linking it. This is just creating it. So I'm going to go in here and call this one second grade. And then I'm going to, let's look, let's see what else. I don't really need a picture for it or anything, so everything else is fine. I just say save. All right, so now we haven't linked it yet. All we did is create it. So now we're back to that spot where we've already hit the word visit, and it says, which one do you want me to visit? So this is where you go down to second grade. They're alphabetical, which helps a little bit. There's my second grade. And then I'll tell it no animation. We don't want the screen doing fancy stuff. And then we'll say save. So now, oh, my button popped up. I say done, and now we've done it. Look, when I hit this one, I go to my second grade and I have a whole page. But hold it, there's nothing there, so you're stuck. So let's store our first name in there. I'll say that I have a kid in my class named Bob. Oh, well, let's make it Tom. So we have a Tom in our class. I have a space after Tom. We could add a real picture of Tom by importing the image or select an image. So we'll just do boy. Search. And this one looks like Tom. And we'll say save. So now, this time when we get done, Tom. we'll be able to hit the name icon, the second grade, and then touch Tom. Tom. What if we got that? What if we got this far into it and didn't want to say Tom? We realized it was a mistake. Tom. Well, we needed that go back button. The easiest way to add that go back button is just get to any page because it occurs on all all the pages, and then hit menu, hit edit page, and just take your finger and touch it, and you'll get copy this button in style. Then say done. Get back to the page where you want to put that in. Hit your edit page touch that same spot, always put it there, and say paste the button. And that easy, you've given yourself a way out. So now you've got it. You have a way of creating a mid-sequence link that takes you to a page. So if I wanted to have this one take me to second grade, and I can say Tom, Tom. or I could have this one take me to third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, or whatever I wanted it to be. Maybe I hit the word go, and I want this button to take me to all my favorite restaurants. You'd follow the same steps copy the go back key and you'd have a nice way to have a whole nother page of words come up.